It's, it's amazing how the weather changes so quickly here. Is the botrytis developing now? Developing very well. We've got uh, perfect conditions at the moment. Beautiful, mm -hmm. ripe grapes. Got those misty mornings that you need, followed mm -hmm. by sunshine like this. And uh, these are perfect conditions for the noble rot to develop. Fantastic. I'm here with Christian Seely, the president of Sudero, the famous Sauterne estate in Bordeaux. Christian's also the president of Pichon Baron and Petit Village. He's thinking this year is looking really good, but we're going to taste past years, 2009 from Barrow, 2005, 2003, and 2001 in bottle. Let's go taste. Let's go taste. The one, what, do you have a favorite? Do you prefer the three or the one or? Uh, today, I, I think 09 is my favorite. Actually. Really? Yeah. You know, we just finished the tasting. It was, it was really fascinating. Uh, Pierre de Montague, the, the technical director here, joined us. So it's great to have you taste with us. What's interesting to me is, is I really can see a progression in quality from the 2001 all the way up to the 2009. The winemaking, probably also the viticulture, everything is much more precise as the wines become more precise, more clean, more clear. Really, sh now by the time you get to 2009, what wonderful fruit and botrytis character. Just beautiful. But let's start with the 2001. The 2001 starting to open up now. Beautiful fruit, sweet, sort of dried lemons, pineapples, honey, even some meringue. Full round, spicy. I like it now. I'm 93 points on that. Then we go to the 2003 right away. Whoosh, step up more concentration, lots of this sort of dried fruit character because of the hot year where you get the combination of botrytis with the dried fruits, with the things like uh, uh, citrus and orange marmalade, even a almost sweet and sour character. I love the balance. As you said, this will probably age forever, but why wait? It's so delicious now. I'm 96 on that. But then we get to the 2005 yet again, up a step for me. And I think this could be the wine of the vintage of 2005, either you or, or Ekem. But what a wine and what a surprise. All that botrytis, but really clean, beautiful botrytis with these sort of waxy spices, you know, just a white pepper, all of those characters that you expect in noble rot. And then you get the dried citrus, spicy character on the finish, so intense and powerful. I said, you know, perhaps best after 2015, but hard to even stop on that. It's so delicious. I'm 97. And then finally, 2009, for me, could be the best wine Sudro's ever made. You said 1928 was great. I never had the 28. And of course, I'm not a vampire, so I wasn't alive in uh, 1929. But what a wine, intense, powerful, sweet. This tropical fruit character, wild mangoes, pineapples, papaya. I just love it. And the, the botrytis is so intense. It almost, I don't bur it burn in the sense that, you know, in the good sense that it's so intense and rich. It just lasts there for minutes. That's a fabulous wine. I'm 98 plus. Who knows? It could be 98, 99, and maybe 100. So thank you very much. Great tasting. And Pierre, you're doing great work.